look at me With you my am easily definable You put me in a box You want me to be your designable But there's luminescence to me Hello, so um, today is going to be slightly different Sorry if you can hear the sound of a lorry outside um, I live on quite a, um, not really a busy area, but just an area where things go on. Um, so today I got the idea from It's Keisha, she's really good, you should check her out. Basically I'm going to be, <coughs> excuse me, going through my um, debut single Iridescent, going through the lyrics, and also the song Diva, I'm going to be singing a bit of it. Um, the song Iridescent is the intro song for this video, and um, Diva is the yeah, and it's my, um, Iridescent is the intro song for this video, and it's also my debut single, and Diva is the little, um, promotional single that went with it, and, um, because I'm going to be releasing a new song very soon, I've been putting teasers all over my Instagram and my Facebook page, please follow me, it's Alexis Grey Music, and my, um, Facebook page is just, um, Alexis Grey. Okay, so, um... Basically I'm going to be going through the lyrics and just explaining their meaning because both Diva and Iridescent are very personal songs to me. Okay, so, um, and I'm going to do that with the new song when it comes out. I'm going to be actually recording it tomorrow. Um, really looking forward to that. I'm going to be in the studio tomorrow. So without further ado, here is my, um, my explanation for Iridescent. So Iridescent is basically, um, at its core, it's a self-empowerment song but it's also very personal to me it's about how I've often felt throughout my life people have tried to like <coughs> excuse me don't worry I've not got the coronavirus this is my allergies um I've already been tested for the coronavirus and I don't have it and I'm being careful wearing my mask and everything sorry I keep going off on tangents <sighs> must really annoy my viewers well basically iridescent I've always felt like people have always tried to categorize me and tried to make me sort of like what they want me to be rather than what I actually am and it's telling people that I'm iridescent, I'm a lot more complicated than that, I'm not just that colour, I'm lots of colours, there's so many sides to me. So um, we're going to start. When you look at me, you assume I am easily definable, you put me in a box, you want me to be your designable. That's basically just what I've been saying, how sort of like, um, people just want to believe that they can define me and, um, that they can decide what I am, but, like, they don't really know who I am. But there's luminescence to me that you refuse to recognise. I'm not your property, though I have no luster in your eyes. Basically, like, the first line, um, but there's luminescence to me which you refuse to recognise. People refuse to see all the size to me. They just carry on just wanting to see, um, just sort of, like, what they want to see. And, um, I'm not your property. Like, you don't own me and you can't decide what I am. And, but I <clears throat> am a monochrome in your eyes. So, like, again, just saying that, like, you're just, they're just saying that, like, I'm just one colour in their eyes. Where I, I'm actually all these colours. Um... I mean, I have no luster in your eyes, sorry, I'm getting the lyrics, I'm getting the lyrics, um, muddled. I have no luster in your eyes, I have no shine, I have no brightness, I'm just this kind of bland thing that people want me to be. And so, without further ado, I have been someone's monochrome, but that was long ago. Basically, that is just sort of like, I felt when I was younger, I would more sort of like conform to what people wanted of me, and I would, I was more scared to be myself, and I was more scared to sort of like, not sort of like, let people manipulate me more, and I would let people sort of like put me in a box more, and sort of like, um, it's all just kind of related to that, and sort of like saying, but that was long ago, like, that's not who I am now, now I am who I want to be, and, um, I am this that I'm talking about now. After all these years I've broken free Not one dimensional Yeah, um, just repeating that again 
And then of course the chorus, I'm iridescent, a kaleidoscope of so much more. Basically sort of like, again, just talking about so like, I have all these sides to me, I have all these colours, I'm a kaleidoscope, I'm not just one colour, and um, I really kind of like, before you watch this video, I recommend going and watching, going and listening to my songs, buy them on iTunes, stream them, come on, I need the money. Anyway, um, and so to let you understand what I'm singing, and so the next um, line is, <coughs> excuse me, when you decide who I am, you see me as easy to manipulate. Again, I sort of like feel like, um, this kind of way people want to see me is just sort of like this kind of like um, dull person with no kind of like colour to me, like they want to be able to control me and decide who I am. You paint me baby pink cause I am so fucking innocent. Again, I just feel like a lot of people sort of like always saw me as the innocent girl, it always really got on my nerves, I was always seen as kind of like the sweet submissive little girl and it sort of also is kind of based on when I was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was about 10 years old, I was, my favourite colour was blue and I was holding up this, um, thing and, like, someone said, oh, I'm surprised you're not holding up the pink one, isn't pink your favourite colour because you're a girly girl? And I was just like, no, I like blue. And so it's like, that's what baby pink is related, also like baby innocence, sort of that. And then, um, what's the next <clears throat> lyric? But you can see me glittering. My luminescence will conquer you, I refuse to pretend, I'm not your fucking ingenue. Again, sort of like, I'm not going to be this sweet innocent thing for you, and um, basically I looked up all the, all the metaphors for irid similes, I mean, or what was it, the word again? been too long since I studied English, synonyms for um, iridescent, and I just found all these words like monochrome, luster, um, glittering and all that, and luminescence and things like that, I just wanted to use them in the song just so it doesn't just become boring, and so I had to, so I have look like all these words, and then um, again the, the, the sort of bridge between the chorus and the verse is the same, I live in someone's monochrome, but that was long ago, but then it's slightly different, you can't polish my opal away, to the matte plastic you want, and um, I sort of like, I really love opal stones, I actually looked up kind of like iridescent gemstones, so I chose opal in that, and like the matte plastic, like sort of like people wanting me to just be kind of like dull and um, just like one thing to me, like people have always like just not been able to handle it when I have other sides to me which they can't like attribute to me because like they just want me to be one dimensional, <coughs> excuse me, and then there's just the chorus going here yeah, just the chorus, <clears throat> like that, and um, then the, pretty sure it's called a middle eighth, is the um, bridge from the beginning, the, you, I may have been someone's, and then at the end I wanted to do the, the little bit of ad-libbing at the end, I really wanted to show off my whistle register in that song, oh, Sorry, my whistle register is very hit and miss, like, sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. <coughs> Let's try and go again. The whistle register is something I have wanted to be doing since I listened to some of my favourite singers, such as Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, Minnie Ripperton, Shanice, Shante Moore, and I'm pretty sure Jill Scott can do it too, like I always like, I always just found that sound amazing and like I always wanted to do it and then when I found out I could do it, I just ran with it and I wanted to bring it into the song to sort of like bring a bit of kind of etherealness, I don't even know if that's a word to the song and things like that and so that's Iridescent Explained, it's about 
how I'm not just going to be what you decide I am because all my life I've had people try to decide who I am and I'm not going to be that anymore. I'm so much more complicated than that. And I'm using colours and kind of iridescence and shine as a metaphor. So on to Diva. At its whole, Diva is a feminist anthem and it's about how in society men are allowed to be like assertive and sort of like demand things and stuff and but... When a woman does it, she's sort of like seen as a bitch, basically, and she's like seen as not a nice person. Women are supposed to be all sweet and compliant and nice and just sit around being pretty and stuff, and just that's not right. And um, a lot of it is based on sort of like how I used to be treated for, have, for being too opinionated and having too much of a mouth on me and... Um, I was often told as a child I was too opinionated and I needed to tone down my opinions whereas like if I was a boy I would not have been told that at all. Sorry that's receiving an email or something, don't worry about that sound. And I kind of looked at like how a lot of like female celebrities are treated who are seen as divas and a lot of the time it's just because like they're assertive and stuff whereas like male celebrities are not treated so much like that, they're just seen as kind of like having a rock star attitude and it's almost seen as admirable. So um... I'm going to go into the lyrics in detail now. A throat tantrums over nothing. I always trash my room. Nothing's ever good enough for me. Again, that is um, kind of like based on sort of like the way the diva is portrayed in um, media. Sort of like when she doesn't get her own way, she trashes her room and it's kind of like using those stereotypes like that. And then um, the next lyrics are, I always seem to come first, always me over you. That's what people say about me. That's sort of like showing the the line, that's what people say about me, is just sort of like um, showing that's just what people say, like it's just kind of being ironic about it and showing that's like maybe it's true, maybe it's not, we don't know. And then um, the bridge is, we all know that I have an oversized ego and can be difficult, but maybe... It's all because I don't let you control me. And that is just about, um, sort of like, we say these women so like they're difficult and they have big egos, but maybe it's just because, sort of like, they bruise the egos of men. I'm a diva. I don't put up with your crap and don't believe her. Cause it all must be made up. Don't believe her cause it all must may be made up. It's kind of like, um, kind of based on the way when a woman speaks out about sort of like sexual assault or something like that, like um, our immediate like instinct is to victim blame her or say she's lying or something. And it's actually based on, I'm not gonna say who the female celebrity is, but basically this female celebrity who is kind of seen as a diva by the public, um, although she is actually kind of cool, um, basically not very well known, spoke about, uh, out about abuse from a very famous director. Again, I'm not gonna mention any names and on a forum talking about it, there were just so many people saying like, oh, she's lying, she's making it up, like, he's not that bad and stuff like that. And I just felt like that just summed it all up. Because I'm a diva, speaks out so is in the wrong. Well, that basically speaks for itself. And then on to the next chorus. Um, here it goes. The world likes its women to sit silently and smile And be pretty for everyone else Um, sort of like, just talking about how like women are supposed to just be pretty And are supposed to just like stand around being pretty and being decorative And they're not supposed to actually have personalities and stuff like that And um, 
I often felt that because I'd be told to stop being so opinionated and then I'd always constantly be being told that I'm beautiful and that was just really kind of, I always felt that was just really enforcing a stereotype on me because like they just wanted me to be a little dolly who just sits around not saying anything and being pretty. If we dare to show what we are feeling inside Then we are the devil herself Again, this kind of seen but not heard thing where um, women are supposed to just sort of like just be pretty. We're not supposed we're supposed to just like show what's on the outside. We're not supposed to show anything of what's inside. We're just supposed to. Um, and if we are with the devil herself, I sort of like wanted to use that kind of pronoun of the devil herself because like women who do speak out are seen as bad and things like that. And then the and then it's just the same bridge of but with slightly different lyrics. We all know that I have an oversized ego and refuse to comply. But maybe you say that cause your own ego's bruised by me. Again, that all just speaks for itself, and then it's just the same chorus, and then in the middle eighth it's you try your best to force these traditions on me tell me i'm pretty but not to voice opinions too loud again that just sort of like sums up like at the beginning of this vid earlier on in the video i was talking about um sort of like being told to just be pretty and not to voice opinions too loud just be like a delicate a, a delicate decorative little set piece at the end of the day you say you're doing me a service I often sort of like was told that like oh you'll be treated terribly if you speak out like I'm actually doing a I'm actually like doing you a favor telling you to just like just be a delicate little set piece and then but you only want me to conform again just sort of like pushing you into tradition and then of course like the last chorus okay so this brings it to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to do another video at some point on my new song when it's finally out um sorry i've been missing a lot of video uploads recently um but um today's one is out now and um <clears throat> and I will do, and I will be recording my new song tomorrow. Wish me luck. Bye.